I've got here is an Everbright motion activated night light and I've been very happy with these for the most part uh, I bought six of them and um, they they basically they'll they will run all night with a with a basic light and then when you go near to them you know picks up motion um, they come on and they're very bright so these are last to me all through the night if they're in a good location uh, that location being um, you know where I've got plenty of sun to charge them up fully during the day um, if you don't have a good location they may not last all through the night but they still seem to be working uh, but I've got a little bit of a problem so of the six I had two um, that have failed one was basically straight out of the box it was not working and the other I was moving it and I dropped it and it stopped working after that and I'll show you what the problem is this is inside hopefully you can see that so what you've got inside you know you've got your, your board that's got all the LEDs on it and this is your battery okay and it's a fairly large battery so it's got a bit of weight to it yeah, relatively and you can see one of the wires is no longer connected now there is this this screw in here with a, uh, a solder tab down underneath it and that's where this wire is supposed to be soldered so what's happening is um, like when I dropped it the battery shifted and both these batteries when I uh, went to first open them up both of them had shifted and they look, kind of looked like that you know so they dropped and fallen over to the side and yanked the wire off one was done in shipping I'm sure and the other one I did when I was installing so what I've got to do I need to simply solder this white wire back into that corner and then a little bit of hot melt glue should prevent this battery from slipping too easily so let's see if I can steady that for a minute once again this is quite hard to do um, while filming it but what I'm going to do retin this So if that wire is actually broken off, you may have to um, uh, strip the wire and expose the wire again. But in this case, it's just um, just a matter of retinning it. What if I can do this? I may not even be able to do this while it's there. We go. Turn the light off. And there we go. Don't know if you got that or not, but I've got a good solder joint on that. Got one more to do. Okay, pinned it. separation there I was worried that I because I'm trying to do it without fully dismantling it so it was a bit tricky but I've got I've got separation there now I'm 
going to throw a little bit of hot glue in on the, the joint area. And a uh, little bit in on the battery. And that should give me um, some good insulation and protect against shorts. Well, that's kind of the same thing. But it I'll also put some on the battery, which is going to stop it from um, sliding out in future and tearing that wire off. So I finished soldering up the wires, and I apologise if this isn't totally clear. Uh, and now I'm going to put a dab of hot melt glue onto the joint that I repaired, just in case it uh, loosens up again. It hopefully won't short circuit with the um, the positive lead of the battery, which is right next to it. Uh, reinstall the battery. Little dab of glue here. Little dab of glue there. Hopefully that'll prevent this battery sliding out in the future. So there's that one done. The same deal here. A little bit of hot melt glue on that. Reinstall the battery. Hot melt glue. Good to go. <clears throat> and it's just a matter. Ooh, I'm going to put my switch back in. How does that go? Goes like that. There we go. So got my switch back in. Simply a matter of um, attaching the backing plate. Which is just, oh, I think that's upside down. There we go. Just a Phillips head screwdriver. You do that, and I've prepared the light. And for me, that was a lot easier than going to Home Depot and um, waiting in line. Not, you know, with the COVID stuff going around at the moment. It's, I actually hate going shopping anyway because of all the restrictions and the craziness. So I'd much rather be able to fix something myself. There we go. And uh, got a good light ready to go very bright um, yeah so overall these were a really good light or are a really good light um, at night time you know with the motion activation working you get a very good light to a large area so I would highly recommend these lights just be ready that you're either so if I've had two from this batch fail, then it's a common problem. Chances are you buy one, you're probably going to end up with the with the same problem. So um, yeah, just be prepared to either take it back to Home Depot or, or um, yeah, fix it yourself.